my loves welcome back to my channel oh, hello if you're new here it's so good to have you today i am filming another car chat vid and the plan is to film the vid on body image oh shaky so i'm gonna go and drive to a car park where i think i hope there's not gonna be very many people and we can have a wee sit and chat for a bit. I'll probably melt in the car, so I'm gonna to have to crack open a window ASAP, but let's give it a go. Our window open, thank you very much. Let's go. You cyclists better move over. I look flipping crazy with this blue eyeshadow on today, like. Actually mental, and I absolutely love it. <laughs> I'm still not sure whether me having you guys here is all that legal. By the way, I still don't actually know, but we doing it anyway. Oh, there's a wee cat. Hi. Okay, so like I said, this wee car chat is going to be about body image. Before I get started, I want to just put a wee, I don't know whether disclaimer is the right word, more of like a trigger warning out there, out there, out there, just because I know that these kind of subjects and mental health subjects, etc, etc, can be quite triggering for people. So what's included in this video is just kind of like talk about our body image, how we see ourselves, talk about weight, talk about myself at a very very low weight. It might include images of me at a low weight just as a comparison kind of situation. Talk about weight issues and um, a bit of bullying as well. So if there's any kind of subjects, topics etc that you think you're going to struggle with by watching this and might make put you in a compromising position or make you feel uncomfortable or whatever please don't feel like you have to watch this if you feel like it's going to be too much for you that's absolutely fine i totally understand and i totally respect your decision i wasn't actually going to film this because this week especially i've had some really i've had some like big issues with my body image this week especially i don't always i, f I normally feel quite all right but this week has been really tough for me. So I wasn't actually gonna film it because I thought that maybe I would come across as kind of a bit like a hypocrite or whatever you wanna call it. But I also think it's really important to talk about these things so that even when you're not feeling good, you can show other people that other people have the same struggles as you, they have the same mentality as you and they have the same issues as well. So it's really important to talk about it anyway. This video is gonna contain some questions i didn't want too many i didn't want it to be a q and a kind of situation but it is going to involve some questions that people have sent me regarding body image when i said that i was thinking of filming this and then some like snippets of my story and my experience as well i hope that this car chat video is helpful to you in some way and i hope that i managed to do my own story and other people's questions and stuff some justice as well like i've said before i'm not a mental health expert i'm nothing like that but being there done that kind of gal so that's where we're at question one is if you had the money or opportunity to change things about your body would you i guess so i guess that if you're 1000 percent comfortable with absolutely everything on your body then that's absolutely fabulous and i'm very very happy for you that sounded sarcastic, it's not like I genuinely am really really happy for you but I find it difficult to believe that anybody is 100% comfortable with every single part of them so I guess that everybody would change something if they could maybe or if they don't want to that's fine as well I have already changed quite a lot about myself I've had my lips done which I've talked about before because I was really insecure about my lips and I had been for a very long time and 
I tried so hard to kind of just get on with it and accept myself for who I was but in the end I really just wasn't comfortable especially when I started getting into makeup I wanted more fuller lips for that reason as well which is why I changed it because I had the money to do it. I think it's really really good to try and accept yourself and love yourself without the need for surgery or cosmetic procedures but at the same time if you can and if you're really really unhappy and you have the money to change it and make yourself more confident why wouldn't you like that's just my thought about it like that's not a bad thing if you have the money to change something that you're not comfortable with and you've been uncomfortable with for a very long time i don't see the problem in doing that but self-love is also such a massive massive important thing as well because i think it would be really sad to change everything about yourself you are you and there's nobody better than than you at being you you know that probably doesn't make any sense but I know what I mean you are born a certain way and there's nobody else like you in the world you don't want to look exactly like everybody else we don't all want to look the same like the imperfections about you are what make you beautiful but at the same time if it's something you massively struggle with why not change it I don't know if that's me contradicting what I'm saying but the gist of what I'm trying to say is that please try and love yourself for who you are but if it's something that brings you down so much and makes you so upset and you have the money to change it, why wouldn't you? My kind of story with body image starts when I was really really young and I weighed about five and a half stone until I was around about 18 years old. I was really really sick and I had a massive thing with eating like I didn't eat much at all in fact I don't think I ever finished a full meal I would always have something left on my plate and I didn't have any kind of eating disorder or anything like that but I just didn't have the energy to eat I was really really unwell mentally and I was I'd always been a fussy eater like I'd never been like oh I will try anything like if I didn't like the look of it I wasn't gonna eat it and I still have this thing with texture of foods so if I really really hate the texture of a food I will really really struggle to eat it um, because it just makes me feel sick and I had that as well when I was younger but I also had a lot of problems in my personal life as well which led to me not really being able to eat very much I was premature as a baby as well so I was always quite tiny growing up I was like the skinniest person I think you would have ever seen in your life I was so so tiny and I never really noticed just how bad it had actually gotten until I got to the point where I started putting on weight and I started seeing a difference but like in school I would get picked on relentlessly I would get called anorexic I would get told that I looked like I could snap one boy actually told me that he would like to see if he could actually break my back because it looked like it would break in one go. Like, that's not okay. Like, that's not acceptable. Saying to somebody that they look like they're anorexic just shows that you are so unbelievably uneducated on anorexia and on eating disorders. Just because somebody's underweight doesn't mean that they've got an eating disorder and for you to assume that is absolutely disgusting and you should be ashamed of yourself. That's the kind of stuff that I grew up with and I got relentlessly bullied for, but I couldn't change it. Like, I just couldn't force myself to eat loads. I couldn't force myself to just... I couldn't, I couldn't figure out what stuff I needed to eat to be able to put on weight, which sounded daft. But I was just eating little things like maybe like a wrap for my lunch or I was eating crisps and I was eating just junk food. I wasn't eating proper food because every time I sat down to eat a meal, I found it really, really daunting and really, really uncomfortable and I just felt like I couldn't do it and then as I became more and more unwell I like my appetite went completely like I didn't have an appetite at all so I would literally only eat maybe like a bit of toast and some crisps throughout the day I wouldn't eat anything that's mainly because of how low I was and how much I was struggling when things kind of started to turn around for me was when I was 18 and I finally got diagnosed mentally unwell and I was put on um, medication and with this medication came side effects and one of the side effects was that I might have a better appetite and I might have a bigger appetite and I might put on some weight which was just an absolute saving grace for me like completely and 
I just started kind of eating more because I felt like I was a little bit more hungry but at the same time I also think that some of that like might have actually just been like a placebo effect like I thought that I was going to have a bigger appetite so eventually I just started eating way more and I think that my brain kind of got trained into eating a lot more and what I did was what I started to do which is how I ended up putting on weight was I started eating two bits of toast and then I would eat my breakfast I would eat two bits of toast and then I would eat my lunch and I would eat two bits of toast and I would eat my dinner and then I would maybe have a bit of toast after dinner as well and slowly but surely the weight started piling on at the start that was the best thing ever like I was so happy to see that I was getting bigger I was never I've, I've never been big but like bigger and I was getting like more curves and I was getting more weight on my legs and I like you wouldn't even believe that I'd put on loads of weight because I'm like I've got such skinny wrists and ankles but I started to put on more and more weight and that was such a good thing at the time but even though it's still a great thing now because I'm healthy now and I am no in no means fat like I know that I'm not um or overweight sorry is, is the better way to put it but I get days now where I look at myself and I'm like, I have never been as big as I am, as big as I am now. And sometimes that's a bit hard for me to handle when I go to try on like a pair of shorts that fit last year and they don't fit this year. Like, I'm, I, like, I get a sense of panic in a way and it does make me feel a bit sad because I'm just like, wow, I don't fit into my favourite shorts anymore. Or like, it's not it's not all that like cosmetic, like, oh, I don't fit into my favourite jeans or anything like that. Like, it's just the thought of, oh, okay, I've never been too big for anything in my whole life. So it's, it's a lot to handle, especially when you've been through the kind of journey that I have with my weight. It can be a lot to handle. And I do have some days where I look at myself and I'm just like, I feel... I don't feel like me because I've always been so tiny and I do get days where I'm just like oh I really don't feel good about myself like at all and that's okay but what you have to do when you get to that point if you've been through what I have or even if you haven't you can hopefully apply this to your your everyday life anyway you have to think about the things that make you who you are and be proud of them like I'm proud to be bigger than I ever have been because I'm healthy now and the fact that I am bigger than I ever have been at the weight that I am now shows how tiny I was before. You've got to try and be proud of yourself for the things that make you who you are. I've got another wee question here. What would you say to your 12 year old self in regards to body image now? Please eat something. <laughs> Please. Finish your plate. Because you need to eat something your body's given up on you is what I would say to my 12 year old self I would also say that at 12 years old you've still got a lot of developing to do and as you become more of a woman your weight will change and that's fine like, your weight doesn't define who you are I was a really nice person at 12 years old I was a lovely person but my personality was dampened because of people who were so horrible to me because of how I looked. I wasn't my weight. I was a nice 12 year old girl. I was a nice person and people ruined that. Your weight doesn't define who you are. You are who you are. Your personality is who you are, not how you look. I don't know what else I would say to her. Be strong. Continue to be kind. Don't let people ruin you don't let people take away your sparkle be brave and just keep being you that's what i would say to my 12 year old self can i ask how you feel about your body and looks also do you think people judge others by their looks sorry i just had to open a door there because my phone flashed up an emergency saying that it was too hot for me to use and i had to wait until it cooled down until i could use it again as for the question about how I feel about my body and my looks, like I said before, putting on weight has been a really, really good thing for me and I'm so happy. But also, 
it is a bit daunting. I do struggle sometimes. I do look at myself and be like, you do not look how you used to. And that's just part of my own struggle and that's part of my issues and that's part of something that I've got to to try and deal with and try and live with and that's absolutely fine and I am doing really really well and I am really happy. Doing like learning makeup has definitely helped me. Trying out different fashion trends has helped me. Changing my hair has always helped. Um, getting my lips done especially gave me so much more confidence. A hundred percent it gave me so much more confidence. So if I was to say about how I look now I would say that I have days where I look at myself and I'm like, I look really nice today and I'm really happy with myself today. Like, I love my makeup today, I love how I've done my hair. And for me to be able to sit and film and look at myself on camera and actually like myself on camera has been a massive deal for me and it's an incredible feeling. As for judging others about their looks, I think from a relationship point of view, the way that you look, I'm going to shut this because I'm getting something all over my face. Um, the way that you look, I think, is a factor in relationships because you're attracted to somebody. And not only, like, for instance, not only is my boyfriend a lovely person and a very respectful man and a very, very brilliant person, he's also very, very good to look at. Obviously, looks aren't everything in a relationship at all. You fall in love with the person's personality as well as how they look or over how they look. It depends what what kind of, of person you are and what kind of things you like, etc, etc. But I would never personally judge somebody for how they look, ever. You can't help what you're born with or what you're born without. You can't help how you look. I would say that... I would, I would like to say that nobody judges people for how they look in a bad way but I've been judged for how I look in a bad way so that's a straight up lie and I'm not going to bother lying to you but it's about surrounding yourself with people that wouldn't do that and finding people to have in your life that wouldn't do that to you so yes some people judge people for how they look I am not one of those people and I know a whole bunch of people that aren't find the people that aren't because the people that do judge people for how they look aren't worth having in your life at all how do you deal with bad body image thoughts? Um, like I've said before, I... Whoa! Oof. I experiment with makeup, I experiment with my hair, I experiment with how I look, I experiment with clothes. Just because I like to change up my look, I like to change up things and find new ways of making myself feel good. If I am waking up one morning and thinking, I hate myself today, because I have those days, like, I'm like, I really, really do not like how I look today. And it really knocks me sometimes. I stand in the mirror and I pick out three things that I like about myself. So say I'm like, oh my god, I just hate myself today. But I guess my hair looks alright. Or I guess, like, my figure looks quite nice today. Or I guess, like, I like my lipstick or I like my lips. Pick out three things that you like about yourself. Don't, don't sit and hate yourself all day. Try and find some kind of positive thought about yourself. To wrap up this video what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to show you guys some images of me when I was younger. I've only got two because I deleted a lot of them because it was a really really hard thing for me to look at but what I'm going to share is an image of my legs and um, an image of just like a photo that like a selfie that I took in the mirror and next to those images are going to be images of me now. The aim of me doing this is to kind of show people that might be in my situation that there's a light at the end of the tunnel and that maybe the way that you need to put on weight might not be the same way that I managed to put on weight. It, it will not work for everybody, but I want to show you that it is possible. I'll show you the difference and how much better you look when you are healthier with your weight. This is not like a a way of me showing off and a way of me being like oh I've done so well what have you done that is not the case at all it is purely just showing you that it can be done and that you will be okay and you will get there I'm gonna drive home now because again soon my phone's gonna overheat again and I'm gonna have to stop anyway but I really hope that this has been helpful for you guys I think car chats are gonna kind of be a bit of a, a thing on my channel a bit of a series if you will so if you do have any ideas of topics that you want me to cover or try and cover that would be really really appreciated if you could let me know
that's it for me today because like I said this car's boiling and I need to go home and get some stuff done Thank you so much for watching this video. I really appreciate it. I'm so grateful to have you here. If you want to give me a like, comment, subscribe, share, whatever takes your fancy, I would really, really appreciate it. And please feel free to join my fam. I've already said subscribe. I'm not begging, but if you'd like to join my wee fam that I'm creating over here on YouTube, we would love to have you. We're a lovely bunch so far. I hope you're all doing really well, and I'll see you on my next video. Bye, guys. Look at my ratchet nails. <laughs> Rank.